And the more you know who you are and what you want, the less you let like things upset you. What is up YouTube? I hope you guys are doing amazing. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the flawless skin with the popping glow. Popping skin glow, as you can tell, because you have to glow all over your body. But without further ado, the flawless foundation routine. Okay, so I have moisturized with my Clinique moisturizer and I used the Marc Jacobs coconut primer something like that my skin is oily to combination skins like some parts are dry so I do use sort of like a matte and a luminous um, foundation so I can have the glowy part but then also keep it matte and for that I'm going to be using my Milani conceal and perfect foundation and then I have a Sample from Sephora for the NARS Luminous, I think it's Luminous Silk, I'm not really sure. And then to blend all that out, I will be using the new multi-purpose brushes from Live and Breathe Beauty Cosmetics. And there will be a giveaway, just stay tuned for that on my Instagram and their Instagram story. But these are the brushes I'm going to be using for my concealer and my foundation. So I'm going to put the NARS Luminous on the outside borders of my face since those parts are more dry than my T-zone. And I just dot it on because I don't really like using a lot of product on my face. And as you can see, my skin is doing a lot better than a couple months ago so I'm just dotting some on of the Milani Conceal and Perfect and Sam Beige and I'm just stippling and buffing out that foundation this brush is super soft if you can see this part is just I just love how it's so soft and it blends out your foundation like a dream flawlessly like it's so nice like if you can see how and there's and it doesn't leave any streaks i'm not just saying this just because they did send it to me and for my concealer i haven't changed my makeup forever foundation stick i just love this as a concealer it's not so thick and I just love the coverage that it gives off for my under eyes. So I'm just going to use my number 7 brush from Live and Breathe Beauty Cosmetics. Just basically tapping it. And first I like to stipple it on my under eye. And then I like to just tap and kind of swipe just a little bit. So yeah, it's just a little bit and then I go to my eyes to prime for my eyeshadow. And just this brush is just so good here. I'm gonna get closer so you guys can just tell how good this brush is. And I like to bring the excess product down a little bit to my smile lines and to set everything i will be using my maybelline super stay better skin in the compact version and then taking my sponge applicator from live and breathe beauty cosmetics as well it's damp and i'm just going to set my t-zone since i do like a glowy look i don't like to look so matte it is a little bit harder than the beauty blender 
just a tad bit I mean not like a lot but I like it and there's a point to it so you can definitely get right in to the creases of the eye Then after that, I'm going to be taking my Cover FX Enhancing Drops in Rose Gold and just popping some on the high points of my cheeks with my finger. I like, I think my finger is like my best friend at makeup. I use it to apply my eyeshadows, like metallic eyeshadows to get more pigment off of them. And just the warmth of your finger warms up the product so it basically melts into your skin. And it's just like the best blending tool ever. And I just love how it looks. And I really just use one dot because as you can tell it's, it's bomb. And then after that, my trusty old Champagne Pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill. I cannot live without this baby. I've hit pan terribly on this product. And as you can see, like this is, it's going through it. But I just set the cover effects with it. And it just gives me an incredible glow like This gives me just like that natural, like within glow. And then of course, going back to my champagne pop, just setting that. And you just glow, literally you're glowing. And I feel as though if you're glowing on your face, why not just glow everywhere? And if you want to be a little bit extra, like me, always, just I'm going to be taking my Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. Literally just, just a tad bit. The only thing I don't like is just this product is so messy. Take some of that and base just like a little bit. Like, do you, do you see that? This product is incredible. And it's, I literally only put it once and I've already swept it all over my face. Then going to my body. This is just like the finishing touches of the glow. Like this product is crazy. So I'm going to finish off my eyebrows and eyeshadow and I'll be right back. That is the video for today. Please subscribe to my channel and like. Uh.